I can't pretend that I'm surprised, but Scorched Earth has been delayed. The good news is, it isn't by very long at all. Let's get cracking. I read Tinkers, I'm Toast Bloke and I'm here with some Scorched Earth news because the Community Crunch has just dropped and there is a lot of information about what's going to be happening over the next few days. Now, in last week's video, I mentioned that Scorched Earth and Bob's Tall Tales DLC was set to release on March the 31st and they seemed to make that decision two weeks ago. It was originally going to launch on April the 1st, but they moved it forward. But they've backtracked on that now. It's now going to release one day later than planned the previous two weeks. And we're going back to the original launch date of April the 1st. Now, they're claiming that this is because they didn't realise it was going to be a holiday. They didn't realise that it was Easter weekend and they were going to be bringing out the game on Easter Sunday. Now, I can see that there would be a lot of issues with that and a lot of problems with that. So this makes sense. But it doesn't feel much better putting it out on April's Fool's Day. It feels like a joke. It's an absolute joke. What are we supposed to do? Is this real? Is it not? I just feel like they're playing games with it. I'm not sure what to think anymore. I honestly don't. But they are saying it's coming out on April the 1st. Now, a really cool bit of information that is included in this first paragraph is this little bit here where it says complications of cross-platform rollout. That means, because I've heard rumors that people thought it would only launch on Steam, this sounds like it is going to be coming out on all Platform. So no matter if you play on console or PC, you should be able to get access to Scorched Earth and hopefully Bob's Tall Tales on the 1st of April. So this is all great news. It's a little bit annoying that it's a day late, especially if people have planned time off around it or just had the idea of spending their Easter holiday in a very specific way, an orc orientated way, and now they can't. But to get things right, this is a good move. The only problem is, the only issue for me is, why move the launch about? It's a day. Just leave it where it was. Maybe it was because it's April Fool's Day and they just thought this is a bit, mm, this doesn't look as good as we first thought. But that's the thing, yeah, there doesn't seem to be much of a thought process behind the dates and what's going on. It would have made sense to maybe wait a week until the weird holiday days were out of the way and it could have just been a clean, normal launch. Anyway, let's continue with what else is going to be happening when this map drops. Now, they're talking about this next part, saying that it might be a little bit weird or it might annoy people. I don't think it will. This has always been the case, as far as I'm aware, when new maps have come out, that the maps have been closed to transfers. Now, I don't mean character transfers. You can transfer your character onto Scorched Earth from the island, but what you cannot do is transfer your items and your tames, at least on official. I'm guessing if you're not playing official, then you can do whatever you want. You can take them wherever you want to go. If you can't, that might be a little bit of an issue. But essentially, for 60 days, you can take your character, your leveled character, over to Scorched and start from scratch, get built up, experience the map as a map on its own, figure it all out, and then after 60 days, anything from the island can come across into Scorched Earth with you. And I really like that approach. I think it's really cool. I think it's really fun. You get that fresh survival experience again without other people just knocking about with all sorts of crazy things that we do not really want to be experiencing when we're going for that grassroots early game survival feel. So I think this is really, really cool. Now, they don't really say much else about the map there, but what we do have is a picture of the Salasukis here. Now, the really cool thing about this is, it looks like it's going to be coming with launch of Scorched Earth. You wouldn't be sticking this picture here if it wasn't going to be coming out with the release of the DLC. So that is really, really cool. I'm super happy. We're going to get the map. We're going to get the creature. It's the first time where it feels like things have fallen into place and what we've been told is actually going to happen. More importantly, I should also mention, it's just really nice that they're communicating this, right? I feel like for so long they just didn't say anything, didn't do anything, and we had no idea what was happening. Anyway, I'm going to scroll around here because we have this image, and I can bring this up in full on the screen. It's basically the promo for Scorched Earth Ascended, and there's a lot to take in here. Now, it's, it's stuff we know. It's stuff we expect when we see Scorched Earth. But again, the main thing is the Facelosuchus is right here in the middle of the shot, meaning it's got to be coming with the map. So this is great news. I'm really, really happy to see that that is the case. But there's some other Scorched Earth things we can pick out from this image here, such as we've got a Deathworm. Look at this, it looks great. 
We've got Wyverns in the background. I can only see two. We've got a Rock Elemental over here that I can see. We've got the Phoenix. We've got the Arena or the Coliseum type area all in the background. And that looks really sick. I like the new style of it. We've got a Jabua. All sorts of cool things. But even more interestingly for me, look at this. Look at this spear. This spear has a skull on it. Is this hinting towards new skins that will come specifically with this map that will be just accessible because you have the DLC? Hopefully it would be really nice if we just got some skins included in that as well as things in Bob's Tall Tales DLC Season Pass Expansion, whatever that is. But there's probably all sorts in this image because there's, there's usually loads that I miss. But there's probably some other things in here I've not spotted, like that third type of Wyvern. Where is it? Well, I, I really can't see it. Surely there's not only going to be two types. I think just haven't put them all in. But essentially, it's looking good. It's looking on track. And I'm super excited to play with the new creatures and to just explore Scorched Earth properly because I never actually played it as a standalone map. I just used it to go and form Silica Pearls back in the day. That's all I did. So <laughs> it'd be really nice to actually play it and get to experience it in all of its glory. Now, I keep mentioning Bob's Tall Tales. Now, the reason I keep mentioning it is because it is meant to be coming with the map's release. And what they say here, if you just look again, it's a tiny little bit of information. Rest assured, Scorched Earth and Bob's Tall Tales are just about ready to ride. So that sounds to me like confirmation that we're not just getting Scorched, but that DLC season pass for Bob's Tall Tales will be available at launch of Scorched Earth 2, or at least that first section of DLC, because we know we won't get the Aberration or Extinction parts until those maps come out. So, this is all great news. I'm excited, and it gives me an extra day to try and finish off my island playthrough, which is just not going to happen on time, right? <laughs> Simple as that. But I'll try. If you haven't checked that out, I'll put a link to the playlist in the description, and I'll also link last week's news video so you can see what is going to be included in Bob's Tall Tales, because I'm not going to go over that again. I'm not going to repeat the same information every week. That's a nightmare. Nobody wants that. But that's it for all of the Scorched Earth news this week. Now, as well as Scorched Earth, they mention some bits about the animated series, in particular, the music behind it. And they had a lovely little video here. It's only short. I started watching it and then got scared I might find some spoilers because I've not managed to watch this yet. I'll probably just be waiting until it comes out officially in my country on April the 19th. Basically, if you are in the US and Canada, you can access it right now. If you aren't, but you can get Paramount Plus in your country, you can access it starting April the 19th. And I'm really looking forward to watching it. I'm hearing great things. It looks really well made. And from what I saw, Gareth out here getting a sick band in the Abbey Road Studios and making a beautiful, beautiful soundtrack. It's, it's just got us pumped. It's got us really pumped. And what's really amazing is, I mentioned this last week. I've just said I'm not going to repeat things from last week, but they're saying it again right and it's slightly different now but the music from the animated series is going to be fully safe for user generated content so if you're a content creator like me and you want to use that music on your content in fact let's have it on in the background of this whole video i can do it should i tell you why because it came out yesterday it came out on the 29th so going forward from this point on if you want to use the arc animated series music in your content you can so let's all do it. Let's make the most of that very, very generous gift from Studio Wildcard and the animated series team and Gareth Koga or whoever made that decision. So that is really cool. I really, really, really want to have a little look at that and try out using that in some of my videos. And let's just hope that it's the truth and we can use it and we don't all get claimed or our videos don't. I don't want to get claimed either, but that's a different story. Anyway, moving on, there is one more thing that I really want to discuss. I mean, we've got the cosmetics here, which you can get. I've not touched them yet, so I don't really know what to say about them. We have the winners for the modding contest, but again, I have no idea about mods. I haven't had a chance to look into them yet. I really need to have a go at some very, very soon. I hear there's some great ones, including one I'm actually very interested in, which I will mention shortly. But on top of that, we've got Easter weekend rates absolutely boosted through the roof, which is lovely. It's what we all like to see. The thing that's really confusing me though is it's talking about excellent rates, but where is the event? Where is the downloadable mod to get the event skins, to get the event mechanics on my game? Like I can see that there's gonna be wild dino colors here, but there's usually a lot more. So where's my excellent adventure? Where is it? Where is it? Is it coming later? Is it not coming at all? 
If they've got so bogged down with Scorch that they're not bothering. If I missed something, can I not read? I guess I'll find out at some point. But yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Now, I did just mention there is a mod that I'm really excited to have a look at. So I think we'll just look at that quickly. Just got to jump out of the crunch and look at this little news bulletin here. And it is called Survive the Night. And it's a premium mod. Now, I'm not going to get this yet because I'm skint. But if I wasn't, I would have bought this and I would have played it by now. Because for those of you who don't know, I started out doing gaming by playing horror games on Twitch. And I love horror, it's one of my favorite genres. Somehow I ended up playing survival and got hooked on Ark and I absolutely adore it. But this could be right up my street, so I'm excited to try it. I did hear some whisperings about it in advance and I never really got onto it. But essentially, it sounds like it's seven days to die or something along those lines where you play, you gotta build up, and then you're gonna get attacked by dinosaurs. And there's apparently a red moon that comes, or a dark moon, or something, and if you're not ready to defend against the zombie dinosaurs, when they get aggro, then you're probably going to die. So it sounds like a really fun way to do it. It looks like there are two official servers for that that you can play on. They're both in North America, which is a little bit of a nightmare, but it's really interesting because there's a PVP version where you can go against the zombies and each other, or you can just play PvE and maybe work together or work on your own to survive the zombie dinosaur threat. So I want to check that out. I need to read into it a little bit more. I don't fully know about it, but that looks like it could be really good fun. And the first use of the new dev kit where I'm really, really excited to see what they've done because I'm not a big fan of mods. I didn't like the whole Mickey Mouse thing. I don't want a game within a game, but I think using it to change arc into a new game mode is a really interesting concept. And this is one that is right up my street. So hopefully I'll have a go at this at some point in the near future. And hopefully I won't mess me undies because there's a big chance that I might, especially with how I've been, been a little bit ill over the last few days. And whew, whew, but you don't need to know about that, do you? Right? I, I don't think you do. It's probably a good time actually for me to stop talking before I give too much information and just have a quick little recap. Basically, what we know from this crunch is Scorched Earth is coming out on the day it was initially set to launch, which is April the 1st. It looks like it's going to be coming out on cross-platform, so you console players aren't going to be left out, which I'm super happy about. I used to be a console player and I always felt like a second-class Ark citizen, so this is great news for you guys that you're going to be getting it at the same time, hopefully. We also know that Bob's Tall Tales looks like it's going to release that DLC season pass, so you better get your hands on that and play about with the Oasis Saw and the trains and the shovel and the piano and all the cool cowboy western stuff. And as well, we learned about the 60 day transfer limit where you can only transfer your character from a server on to Scorched. You better go back, you just can't bring your dinos and your items with you until that 60 days is up. But other than that, I think we've covered all of the important information. So I'm going to call that there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, if you found it informative, useful, entertaining, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Just wonder this for my channel, and I'm super grateful. Also, drop a comment below. Let us know what you think about all this. Is the delay absolutely driving you insane? Or can you manage? Can you understand? Are you cool with it? I mean, do you think it's still an April's Fool joke? It could be for all I know. <laughs> anything's on the table at this point like you know what i mean so but yeah check the links in the description It'd be lovely to have you as part of the community if you want to join the discord or anything and until next time guys you take care and i'll catch you later Ciao,